So, if you end up leaking some bearings out of your uh, linear rail carriage bearing thing, uh, the first step is to swear a lot. Once you're done doing that, uh, so take. like that when you get to them undo the screws take off the dust cover undo the screws on this guy take it out now it holds uh, so there are four races of bearings top side whoops I'll put that back in, in a second uh, top side left and right and bottom side left and right and there they form like a ring of bearings down and then through a channel inside the block and back up and then these holes are where they recirculate top side here and here bottom side here and here uh, these are the 15 millimeter version of these blocks and I've got one of those bearings in that caliper that looks like 3.2, just a hair under, which, what's that? That's an eighth of an inch, isn't it? I think that's probably what that is. Um, so I need to order some more bearings for that. And to put this back together, you kind of go, if I sit a bearing on there and just push that down, If if it's if you're like if this channel is full as you push another bearing in that in there, it'll you'll see this you know as you push one down you'll see this line push up. So basically just keep pushing the hole full until the bearings start coming back up the way. I tried doing this like so this is the plastic retention thing to hold the bearings in. I tried doing it with that out and just pushing bearings in there and I just I just couldn't get it working. Taking these ends off is much much easier. Um, so, um, what am I doing? So, again, if I just go pushing that down, oh, we've got one popping out the top, so that side is full. Do the same thing here. Pushing one out the top, that, that one's full. Push that down, that one isn't popping out the top yet. Oops, come here. Balls. Literally, <laughs> got lucky. That's what I get for trying to hold a phone at the same time as I do this. Yay! So, I'm a couple short for this. Uh, so, what do we do next? Once we've got all those full... Pop the remainder in here. Yeah, I'm a couple short. I think we're probably supposed to have three in each of these channels. And then if I've got three in each of these, uh, just put a little blob of grease on the end of each of these, which will let you flip this guy over and chuck it on top. Because I'm a bit short, I'll probably get away without putting them on without the grease. Uh, just to put this back together, I'll get some more bearings ordered and take this apart again. And uh, <sighs> And uh, put the missing bearings in when I've got them. In the meantime, like just while I'm putting the machine together, I will be able to put this block on and just like give it very light work without the full set of bearings in. Cool. Hopefully this helps me remember next time I come to do this. So just to know how full they're supposed to be, I 
took a good one on my haven't leaked ball bearings out of it yet part so with the carriage kind of full to the point that there's a ball just sitting proud of each channel you should then have two in the uh, uh, in the channel in the end bit uh, so this is the 15 millimeter size rail uh, cool and in case I end up watching this one this clip instead of the other clip these bearings seem to be eighth of an inch two point uh, three point two millimeters or just a hair underneath okay uh, so I'm gonna put a little blob of grease into each of these holes so I can turn this guy upside down and put it back on there um, another note, it's worth taking both end caps off when you do this, even though you kind of think you only need to take one off, if you take both end caps off, you can then take the dust covers off that cover, uh, cover the uh, top set of rails. It's worth noting, when these are back together, so I don't have the uh, dust covers on yet, so you can see the top race. It's worth noting that there is about one bearing space um, so as you roll these up and back you can see they sort of uh, rejig themselves this is true on this side as well oops sorry this is true on this side as well it's about one bearing space there so this is this is the one I put back together that I haven't lost any bearings out of, so this is the number of bearings that were just always in there. Uh, so they're not rammed in as tight as they'll go. Yeah, and you look, sorry, that white is just the grease I used for uh, sticking the bearings in place. We'll put the end cap back on, but yeah, there's about one bearing space there as well. Same on the other side. <laughs> 